Hey everybody, Gary here, and my preferred photo editing suite, Affinity Photo, just came out with a new software release, version 1.9. Affinity Photo is a great alternative to the subscription model that Adobe Photoshop pushes on people. Basically, you pay for Affinity Photo once and you get lifetime updates. This update in particular comes with some really useful free assets that you can use to add a little flair to your photos. I've been digging through my old photos to find ways that we can use these assets to transform them from something like this into this. So let's get started. So here we are in Affinity Photo version 1.9, and I believe the Asset Manager was actually implemented in version 1.8, but uh, there are a few interesting tools like Astrophotography that were added in in 1.9, but we're gonna focus on the Asset Manager because uh, they actually bundled some interesting assets for free. Uh, let's see, the uh, snow overlays, the rainbow and rain overlays, and fog overlays. And so we're just looking at some photos that we took, or that I took, uh, earlier this winter. These are just the dogs uh, in the backyard, and there's a little bit of snow actually in the frame. Uh, if we just look in, there are some flurries that you can notice there, but we're just going to add one of these snow overlays just to dramatize the image just a little bit and give it a little more visual interest. So we just drag uh, the assets directly from the assets panel and we just bring that in and we're just going to pull that a little, that's not quite right, uh, just like that. And just so that it uh, encapsulates the whole width of the frame and you can pull that around just so that uh, the bokeh gets right where you want it. But I think that looks pretty cool, a little before and after. And yeah, that's good for that image. And if we look at the next image, we can do a similar effect. So we just grab another snowy bokeh effect, just this soft bokeh, and we're gonna bring that over. And again, this one's just a little more subtle and that is going to cover the width of the frame. And we just bring that down. And that is quite nice. Very subtle, but a nice little effect. And then we have one more image of the pups in the backyard. And for this one, we're going to use a uh, slightly more intense um, falling snow effect. Uh, I actually have it loaded here in the layers, so we're just going to toggle that on. And, uh, you know, these guys look like they're real adventure dogs in uh, a raging blizzard now. Uh, real sled dogs. But, uh, yeah, this one, this one in particular is a nice subtle effect. I think you could use this in uh, portraits as well. But if we look at this image uh, from the wedding earlier this summer, we can use the rain, uh, the rain overlay effect. And we have a few different ones to choose from. We're just going to choose the raindrops overlay. Um, and again, you can change the size. This is actually quite a large overlay. Uh, so the raindrops look a little bit intense. We can actually bring down um, probably the opacity, but you can see actually um, we we're able to capture the raindrops in frame uh, with a really high megapixel sensor and really fast shutter speed. But um, when we actually toggle on the artificial raindrops, um, it just you know makes it a lot more eye-catching, a little less natural. But you know sometimes it's nice to have a little dramatic effect. And again, just knocking down the opacity a little, uh, we can actually get rid of the parts of the overlay that we think you know shouldn't really be there or you know are a little less believable. So we just take the eraser with the hardness at zero, and we just brush over those areas where we do not want the overlay to appear. And this is just something that you have to do manually. But uh, here we're just going, just going over um, Dan's suit and over Lindsay's dress. And uh, yeah, actually you can see um, a lot of a lot of the wedding photos that I edited in a previous video, so I can add that uh, add that video linked uh, perhaps at the end of this video. And again, just changing the brush size as we go down the legs and the shoe, 
and then the next and there we go that's looking pretty good once more just a little just a little before and after that looks great and the last image is actually um, one from Grossmore National Park when Emily went there uh, Emily and I went there um, a couple of years ago now and we're just going to look at the fog effect you can see the nice fog in the distance but let's bring some of that environmental effect uh, into the foreground as well we can use this this little fog band uh, and you can see it's kind of low resolution it doesn't take up the full width of the image uh, but we can just stretch that out and it gives a nice kind of um, horizontal vignette you know not one of these um, you know circular or radial vignettes that you typically see um, and you know you can just sort of maybe tilt that a little so that it kind of aligns with the directionality of the image that slope and that looks that looks pretty cool um, but we also have uh, this sort of light streak that we can bring in as well so we're just toggle off the band and um, when we look at the light leak that's it so we just pull this again into the frame and this one we have to tweak a little bit as well so it needs to get a little bit larger and again the directionality just doesn't seem quite right Emily's looking a little bit washed out there so if we just go up to the arrange tab uh, we have the option to flip these overlays uh, vertically or horizontally we'll do the horizontal flip and you can see that that direction you know it just flows better with the image it makes just a little more sense and there we've got it uh, just shining towards Emily our subject makes a lot of sense oh we actually missed that edge we just need to make that take up the full frame and that looks pretty cool again something that you know is you know maybe a little obviously artificial but it just adds a little you know a little bit more visual interest just a little bit of punch to your images and you know sometimes hey you're allowed to do that you're the artist so that's it easy right if you have any questions make sure you leave them in the comment section below give the video a thumbs up if you liked it subs if you loved it make sure you hit that bell icon so you get notified the next time i upload something else and until next time take more photos later